so it's been a while um yeah it's definitely been an age since um my last video straight like straight after that video i more or less got a full-time job <laughs> so that kind of became the center of everything like I was so tired after a day, like I hardly did anything. So, um, my last video, my to be read list, yeah, I pretty much have read nothing of those. Um, but yep, I'm back at uni now. It's week three in the middle of all of that. Um, I went for a little holiday and, um, yeah, so I'll do all like, including what I have already said, I'll do some more of a catch up. Um, reading wise, I've only two or three books, I've only read two or three. Um, so, pretty sure I read Eleanor and Park off, somewhere after that video. Um, the start of this year, I finished Norwegian Wood. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. It took me a while to get through. I think it's the first proper literary novel I've read. Um, so it was all kind of new to me. I've read everyday things before, but it's mainly been YA and that's technically a genre, so... Besides that, Norwegian Wood would be the first literary novel I've read, and that was at the start of this year. After that, I read ah, Of Triton. Um, it was just a filler, really. Um, they're good reads, and they're quick reads, but I find that they don't offer as much substance as other books might, so... Um, yeah, it was more, it was just more of a like, oh, relax, read something. So yes, I read that. I enjoyed it for what it was. I'm not going to go and critique it as you might with Norwegian Wood, but still good, at least. Um, and then after that, I've been reading this. And I technically haven't finished it yet, um like, what, 20 pages away from the end, and don't know how I have the self-control to not finish it. I don't even remember where I was, I stopped in, I, and yeah, I stopped in the middle of a chapter, so I don't even know what made me stop, but yes, I've been meaning to do that, but because of uni I haven't finished it so there we go um all right so let's get to it um so on the train home from uni today I was thinking about how I haven't done a video for a while and if I want to commit to it I might as well just do something find a um routine somewhere so here is, here is me having another crack at it. Um, with uni now, I should have more free time, ironically, with work and uni. But um, with uni, I have half days really, so well, one half day and every second Friday I have off to focus on uni work. So, I mean, I suppose I could fit a little quick video in here and there before assignments kill me and I um, go back to work full time after the trimester ends. So yeah, so I thought I'll just do a little video and talk about my top three books at the moment. Um, uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll begin then, I guess. So, even though I haven't finished it, Nevernight has been an absolute joy of a ride, I suppose. Um, for lack of 
better articulate words. Um, I think Nevernight came at the right time for me because lately I've been in a little bit of a reading rut because of the book I'll mention next. Um, it's had everything that I've been looking for at the moment in a fantasy book. The footnoting is weird and that's a separate issue, but um, besides the footnoting, um, it just had that sense of adventure that I've been missing um, missing lately. It, it, um, it has, you know, your typical, not typical female lead, but she's she out there, she wants something, she's going to get it, so she goes and gets it, and just going along with Amia was a delight, frustrating, but delightful, um, oh, how do I speak without saying too much, so, so she wants to learn how to be an assassin for those that don't know it, but I doubt not too many people wouldn't know it, but if you don't know it, get onto it because it's a good thing. And Australian author, so going to and ha going to have to endorse it. Um, yeah, so you've got her travelling all terrains to get to the institute where she will learn how to become an assassin, and she has to essentially fight other candidate candidate can others, or we'll just leave it at that, others like her who wish to be an assassin because they only accept a certain amount every, I don't remember if it was every year, but every time they have this thing that, yeah, because they teach in periods and then, anyway, um, yeah, so I kind of really enjoyed just reading about her experience there and learning all of the skills that you might as an assassin and I just think I was just really waiting to read something like that and I'm glad that I finally got onto it. It was very frustrating at first but I got there loving it so far. Cannot wait to read the next ones so as soon as I I'm allowing myself to buy books again, I will definitely be buying the sequels as I have faith in them both being good. So there's that one. Now this one, this one was everything and more of a fantasy book that I've probably ever wanted. You think of a typical modern fantasy book and you're like, oh yeah, someone who has magic and learns how to use that magic and there's an evil force and that th this person has to use their newfound magic to defeat this force and there's a bit of romance involved because who doesn't love a little bit of romance? You're dead inside if you don't. Um, I'm kidding. Um, It was and the, oh, beautiful imagery. I don't know why there would be a fantasy book, because honestly, it's a travesty if it isn't beautifully descriptive. This one is. It's beautiful. Uprooted, and honestly, this cover is like, look how. this cover. No words. I just think it's, it's so gentle looking. Like it's, it's a, it's a little plain compared to like, uh, say Rebels or Throne of Glass. Oh my god. Um, it's plain in comparison, but I think the simplicity of it in relation to block colour and then you just got your gold specks and your red rose and 
<sighs> this was everything and more. This book came at the right time as well, because, and this put me in a rut for a long time, because after this, I didn't know what to read. Nothing could live up to it. I think I tried reading a book, then I just put it down again because I'm like, it's not uprooted. Um, just having a moment over here, haven't spoken about it for a while. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, 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 I heard so much talk of it as well, and for the longest of times, because I think it kind of hit on Tumblr with like its aesthetic pleasing cover because there are many covers not many but there are a few covers of this and they're all spectacular to look at and I think I saw it on tumblr first and then it came onto Instagram and I think it was mainly people outside of Australia talking about it I don't think I don't think I've seen many Australian Instagrammers, booktube, bookstagrammers talking about it. Um, maybe I just don't know enough Australian bookstagrammers, um, or booktubers for that matter. Um, so I don't know, I don't know how long it's been known within the Australian part of the community, but I'm so glad that I finally decided to buy it based off the cover really and then reading the blurb and then reading it when I did. And I'm so disappointed there isn't more. Like I'd honestly would want a thicker book. My only critique really, maybe a little bit more romance, but it was fine. Like look even, I don't know if you can see that. But I don't even know how well that I've just framed that in the shot. But this spine is like the most cracked one I've ever come across. Well, I've ever created really. Like, um, my copies of Hunger Games, pretty cracked. But I think the binding was pretty shit. So it just peeled and cracked easily regardless of how many times I've read it. Which is only... Twice, I think so I mean it's not even like I've read it a lot and then I lent it to someone else and they read it so but like first read devoured it and this spine is cracked and I've never been more satisfied about anything this book satisfied me and I crave more like I'm probably I wouldn't be surprised if I reread it in the next like, 12 months or something because it's just so good and I cannot re recommend it enough. It, it's honestly so magical. It's the perfect fantasy novel, I reckon. So that one. It's good. I'm going to put it back. It's good. Um, now third, I don't know why I'd be like, oh, my top three favourite books currently. When I actually have a lot that I really like. I like all time favourites and I don't think I can put those under all time favourites. Like I can't put an all time favourite on this list even though this probably will become an all time favourite now. It's just, this, this one's fresh so I feel like it's a current love. And same with Nevernight. Um, so my all-time favourites, although it should be another video, but oh well, um, all-time favourites would be the Throne of Glass series and, um, but more specifically Queen of Shadows, it's my favourite. And then if you, ex oh shoot, if you extend that to like Court of Mist and Fury, well, yeah. And then Rebel of Sands is one of my all-time favourite um, trilogies as well. Um, another all-time favourite would be, I mean, Percy Jackson series, but I think that's just a given for me at this point, because Percy Jackson kind of like started off my reading journey. Um, Carry On 
would be an all-time favourite. So for, for the sake of what I've read currently that I've enjoyed, I... Yeah, I'd either say it's Eleanor and Park or Norwegian Wood. For the sake of it, I'll just go with Norwegian Wood. So, give me a second. Never mind, I just lost it um, behind other books. If you heard the thunk. Norwegian Wood, I've, it's kind of been on my radar for a little while as well. Simply because it's the title of a Beatles song and I actually really like the song to begin with. Um, and then I had a friend who posted a photo of a few of his books, I think. And I was like, oh hey, I've been thinking of reading them. What did you think? She was just like, I absolutely love them. So I was like, what the heck? Jump with two feet. Just go for it. So I bought it, read it, and yeah, I was reading it in between working full time. So I think that's probably why it took me so long to get through it. And then I got to a point, I, I'm, I wasn't really big on, excuse me, I wasn't really big on reading just like random places because I'm the type of person like um I'm, I'm the type of person that's like oh well if I'm gonna if I'm gonna read might as well commit time to it so I'll just block out time at the end of my night and read until I fall asleep or if it's a weekend I'll be like all right wake up have breakfast do a little bits and bobs block out a good chunk of the day to read with working that that things changed like I couldn't do that as much as I used to with like saying when I was in high school or working as a barista and going to uni so I have pushed myself to be reading in um, in places that I would say that's outside of my comfort zone which well, not comfort zone, but like outside of my cozy zone where like I'd be on the couch or I'd be on my bed. Um, so yeah, during lunch breaks, I went from having half an hour lunch breaks to full hour lunch breaks, which is allowed. I just chose to use it now to read. So I'd sit in the back room or outside and I'd read for an hour and at night I'd be too tired to read so those times really became the only times that I read um so that took like doing that took me a while but at least I was still reading it was I can it, that I think that's my point and um yeah I enjoyed it I don't know what I was expecting I don't think what I read was what I was expecting, I'm not disappointed. Um, I just, mm, I don't think, yeah, I didn't know much about it. I just knew it was like, hey, it's a Japanese author and it's about a teen in Tokyo. But the detail it went into is just about like day to day life, university life, uh, romance, love life, sex life. Um, yeah, it was a ride and it was enjoyable. Um, I'm pretty sure my Goodreads, I gave it a four stars. And I said, what did I say? So, not that you would have noticed because the last thing that happened was I walked off screen. But turns out, camera cut out, so that's fun. Um, so I believe the last thing on that, I said I was going to look at my Goodreads um, comment that I made. If you wish to 
have a look at my Goodreads and check out um, other books that I have rated and made comments on. Not that I've done many, but I am going to start making an effort to do so. Um, I'll put the link down below. And yeah, so the the what I said for Norwegian Wood, I gave it four stars out of five. And I wrote, I'm torn between four and five stars and I really wish there was a decimal system set out on here. Simply because four stars isn't enough for this wonderful book, but five stars because I really wish I got so much more out of this book. And I would recommend this book to everyone because it was a great read. Um, as I said the last time that I did, oh, I really can't believe that the camera cut out, but anyway, you have to deal with these things. Um, was, there was nothing wrong with it. It was wonderful, um, character was great. Um, I think I just wanted a little bit more of a developed romance. There was definitely romance there. I kind of just wanted to see more of the romance between two of the characters. Um, yeah. Um, what else did I say? I think it's mainly just because I'm used to like fantasy plot lines where everything is just so exciting and fantastic. And I think that's all I have to say because I think I've rambled the last time. But Dover, cool. I'm a little bit annoying, but we're here doing it again and but it's the end now um so thank you for watching this video um thank you for staying on board if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below if you like this video and you'd like to see more stuff like this or if you have any suggestions because i'm at the stage where i'm still open to suggestions because i have no idea what i'm doing with this i'm just doing one step at a time when I have time um if you yes if you would like to see more um give me a subscribe it would do wonders for my confidence thank you um and yeah just thank you for watching have a lovely night or day have a just enjoy your being bye <laughs>